everybody, it's Deb from Deb's Cool Finds, and um, I will insert a clip in a minute. Um, I went to Dollar Tree today. I had some little extra time because what I had planned to do didn't work, so <laughs> I went to Dollar Tree. So I'm going to insert that beginning clip in here. I also found some items in there that I thought were interesting um, and you might want to know about and uh, but I didn't want to purchase them or have a need for them um, I tried to use my money a little more wisely um, at least in my opinion <laughs> so uh, I didn't want to purchase those items but there were a couple really cool items so I'll insert those videos also and then um, well yeah Miss Bella she would say hello but she's kind of tired from our walk and um, I have some more uh, items for you um, from Dollar Tree that I purchased while I was there. So I want to show you those items as well. Wow, they've already got school supplies out. We're not even in July yet. But you know this stuff goes quickly. So if it's something that you need, you might want to head over to Dollar Tree. I did see someone else haul this, and I thought it was kind of cool. It's a ruler, but these little middle parts are those little popper things. So it's one of those, it's a sensory, a pop sensory ruler. So if you have a child that would find that enjoyable, that's kind of cool. It's just a plastic, you know, little rubber, rubber thing. But that's pretty cute. Everything else I kind of have seen before plan your best life that's that's kind of nice i like work life home life balance that's why i took the job that i have because they value that so that's a really cool one too that's that's kind of interesting um today's a good day don't put pad pens paper i mean they have everything they've also got their um fall flowers out and these are kind of cool Stems. You've got these. These I haven't seen or paid attention to. These are interesting. But uh, yeah, they got their fall flower stash out. Here's another grouping of it in case that's something that you're interested in. I found in their um, Dollar Tree Plus section found in the Dollar Tree Plus section. I normally don't shop this area, but I just happen to glance and they've got all this bling stuff for your car. I got a bling tissue holder. Um, there's a bling mirror, a bling seatbelt, shoulder pad, a bling license plate cover under there. Um, but I do believe you can do better at T-Mail on this kind of stuff. I just noticed it because I put a bling um, circle around my start button and in my cup holders. So I kind of like the bling, but... Okay, Dollar Tree has pool noodles and there are so many uses for these things at $1.25. Um, they even come in different widths um, at times, but I use them in my boots to store my boots in my closet so that they keep standing you know, straight up. I use them as packing material um, in my eBay store um, when I'm, you know, sending something to someone. Um, you can use them as bumper cards, like if you have a little baby and you have maybe a sharp um, table or the thing I always worried about was the fireplace, the brick around the bottom of a fireplace. You could cut these and then put them on the edges of those things and make them baby proof. I mean, there are so many uses for those. Um, and they're mostly in the summer that you'll see this huge huge selection of them so come and grab them while they're here look at these cute colors in their storage bins this is not really blue it's more of a seafoam green and then like a rose color but so many different types and options we even have a little swinging garbage can trays I mean these are adorable I have them in the gray that's too cute that's so cute and that kind of a trash can love the colors and the little tins. Remember that's not the true blue. If it was I would adore it but it's really a seafoam green. Okay so let's get into those items I purchased at Dollar Tree. I have one bag and one little basket. 
So it's not a, a ton of stuff, but I found a couple things that might interest you all. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm doing these YouTube videos and I'm trying to plan them out in my head. And of course, that doesn't work that well. <laughs> so I um, wanted to plan them out uh, more visually. I'm a visual person. I need to um, see things like when I'm learning new computer programs or stuff, I have to actually use them and see them. Just hearing about them or having someone teach me doesn't work that well for me. So I saw this and I thought this might work while I'm trying to plan out, you know, Sundays I'm trying to do a haul video and then um, a couple days during the middle of the week I want to do a couple little shorter videos maybe of her and I walking or doing some fun things, uh, maybe going to thrift stores, maybe some travel tips, whatever. So I need to plan it out and I need to be able to see it. Well, I saw the this and I thought this might work. It is called a 2023-2024 planner. It is from Jot, which is one of their brands. And it is just this little bit of paper calendars inside of this little plastic holder. You could also insert it into a notebook if you choose, because it's already got the whole punches in there. But you, if there's an opening here, you can pull it out and then it's just this cover you could use for anything if you didn't want to use it for this. But it starts with August of 2023 and goes through July of 2024. So at least it's, you know, I'm not like wasting it if I would have got a just a 2023 one. I would have only had a few more months left. So I'll have to do some kind of manual printout um, on the computer and just print out a July calendar and a June calendar so I can finish out those two months and then I will start using this. So this will just be, you know, sitting on my desk. I can see and I can be like, oh my goodness, I have to edit or I need to go film or I need to post. So I thought that was a cute little item that will come in handy again for $1.25. So no big deal. Um, I normally, unless there's something incredibly special, I normally just shop the dollar twenty-five. My stores do have the bonus section. Not all of them do, but mine so far all do, um, where it's three dollars and five dollars. So unless it's like I said something special, I'm not shopping there. Um, I will try and remember to post a picture of where I'm putting this next item. Um, I love the ocean, the blues in the ocean. There's a picture of the ocean above uh, the bed. This is my guest room slash office. Um, and then the rest of my house has sprinklings of ocean stuff all around it. I've said it before, that is my dream. I want to live at the ocean at some point where I can walk on the beach. Um, still struggling to get there, but it's on my wish list. So I'm going to manifest it. But in my bathroom, um, my main uh, master bathroom, um, behind the toilet area, uh, I have a little couple decorations there of the ocean. And I want to put this in there. There's a, like a little lighthouse um, wooden little thing there. And I thought if I put this picture behind it, it would look like the lighthouse has the ocean behind it. I don't know. It makes me happy. Better if I turned it the right side up. <laughs> so catch me on that one. But it's just a cute little picture of an ocean. And it's about, um, I use a piece of paper. So it's probably the size is long, longer than a piece of paper, but shorter. Um, so it's a little bigger one. I liked it for the width of it behind that little wooden sculpture I have. It is just, you know, canvas picture just on this little fake wood. Uh, well, it's probably wood. Um, frame stapled on there and it does have a little clasp on there. If you wanted to hang it, I won't. I'm just going to be setting it up there. So um, I will put a picture on the end of this and show you what it ended up looking like. Um, reading. I am an avid reader, well I used to be, and I've started back on the habit. I have to force time 
into my life to do it because I'll forget and I'll get into YouTube videos or different things and not do my reading. And I think it's really good for your brain, especially as you start to get a little older. Um, we got to keep that brain activated. So um, I'm do my books, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on them because I read them rather fast when I actually read them. So I used to be in speed reading class in high school. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, I don't even know if they have such a thing anymore in school. But um, I like to buy the books at the Dollar Tree when they seem to appeal to me. I like books with a lot of dialogue in them. I like mysteries. Um, a little more towards, like, gruesome kind of things. <laughs> I know it's weird. Um, but I found this one, and um, they got me... Um, right at the beginning because it's just creepy so sorry if you don't like this kind of thing but it says if you're on his list a woman's naked body is discovered cold and pale as the surrounding snow except for the crimson scarf around her neck the weeks that follow bring more victims and evidence of a terrifying pattern the killer has a list and every woman on it will get what she deserves and then it goes on further so yeah it just got me interested and here we go and this is by Alexandra Ivy and that's creepy and it's called don't look and it originally sold for way more than a dollar and 25 cents this is a nice size it's got I don't want to look at the words it's got 393 pages in there so this would be a nice read and I can also bring it with me on my cruises where I love to read on the cruise love to go up to the upper deck or if I have a balcony room sit up there and read um, it's really neat this is another one um, the front says this guy has got what it takes uh, speaking of the writer uh, it's called a dangerous breed tense and twisty action Hamilton pr pr proves himself a master so his name is Glenn Eric Hamilton it's the author um, an invitation addressed to his long-dead mother sparks Van Shaw's curiosity about the woman he barely knew. He uncovers startling details about young Maura Shaw's life, including her relationship to a boy named Sean Burke. Could Burke, who Van soon discovers has an even darker family history than his own, be his biological father who abandoned Maura before he was born? So, kind of intriguing, but I, I kind of glance through them, and if I see a lot of dialogue, then I like that. I don't like as much as the descriptive stuff so um just proves i'm not into the uh you know the classics and stuff as much where i should be but i'm not um this one i can't get the sticker off of it to see the price i don't know if they put it on the inside also it doesn't look like it. oh yeah it does so yeah there's the inside price right there originally so here we go, and it also says there's a bonus story included, but it's called A Dangerous Breed. There's my little lighthouse, yay! Um, but it's just a fiction book, nice and thick, um, soft cover, which I like, uh, just because it's easier to pack and stuff. So this has got 542 pages, yay! <laughs> so, all right, now we are into my little basket take that piece of paper out which has nothing to do with anything um, again if you've watched my videos you know I have a car bag and it's a bag of stuff that I take in and out of the house it's I live in the Dallas area so it's rather warm I don't want stuff to melt in my car so I can carry my Timu car bag back and forth and I put in there just things I need you know um, I put some lip balm in there and I've got my new foldable scissors I just purchased in there and I've got hand sanitizer and just a bunch of stuff so you can watch a previous video where I actually um, showed you what was in the bag at the current moment I have an addition an addition so when I'm doing my uber eats on the weekend my second third job whatever it is um, I, I pack my lunch with me so that I don't I'm not tempted by fast food and stuff because I'm trying to be healthier. Um, and so sometimes it's messy. And I saw these in there. I love the smell of coconut. And I found these by Be Pure. They are coconut scented hand wipes. And it's this nice little package that I can take in the car with me. You know, it's the kind where you peel it down like there and then you get the wipes. So we're going to take a, we're going to try to take a sniff. Oh, if I opened it from the part that says 
open. Um, it would work a little better. So this is one of my days for yeah, goofiness. Okay, so it just opens up a nice little pocket there. Oh, very coconutty. Yeah, I like that smell. So they had different scents. I don't remember what they were, but they had different scents. It says do not flush it. So it's not that kind of a wipe. It's for your hands. Um, and yeah, so I was trying to see. Okay, 20 wipes. And there's the size of them and they're the be pure brand so that's a nice addition to my car bag this is just a restock um, yeah I could probably get them cheaper someplace else I just happened to be there and recalled that I needed it um, I'm normally try and use um, towels actual towel towels you know kitchen towels and things instead of using um, paper towels but sometimes I need them um, like uh, just for different things like today I had my oatmeal and my um, two little sausage links for breakfast and I like to put the paper towels down under the links when I microwave it to catch all the grease and stuff so for things like that I got any paper towels and these are the custom size ones you know where you can do the, the tiny sheets so they last a bit longer and are more cost efficient in my mind but they're just paper towels there's 176 of them instead of 140 so it's the bonus pack and you know just paper towels nothing nothing spectacular I bought a shampoo that was on a previous haul coconut um, dove I believe and it doesn't they I have not been able to find the corresponding conditioner to it I had bought a coconut hair mask and it's not leaving my hair as soft I just washed it this morning I uh, didn't do anything with it but I washed it um, it's not leaving it as soft as I would like. So I thought I would try another one and I found this one, which is also coconut. Um, it is hydrating coconut enriched with hibiscus oil and no parabens, no sulfates, conditioner daily defense. So it's one of their brands, daily defense, coconut hibiscus conditioner, nice size bottle. And Yeah, it's very coconutty, so I like that. <laughs> and it, yeah, coconut. I used to like. Um, oh my goodness! If y'all remember tropical, tropical something suntan lotion. I can't remember the full name of it, but it was coconutty smelling. I used to love that stuff. And then if I'm anywhere um, near Coppertone, actual sun screen or suntan lotion is what we used to have. Um, that just reminds me of the beach. I lived in Chicago. Um, in a apartment right across from the lake so I just had to walk under Michigan Avenue to get to the lake and uh, North Avenue Beach was there and I, I was actually a bit north where I was by um, the harbor area where the, all the boats were stored and stuff so I could just walk everywhere I worked in the Sears Tower way up at the top it was a great time but anytime I smell that that copper tone smell uh, oy, the memories just flood into my brain. Are you got like that with smells too? Just, woo. Um, this is another restock, which I'm always doing. They didn't have any last time, um, and I had to go and buy them somewhere else. Where did I buy them? Uh, I think PetSmart or something. I paid way more than $1.25, but I needed them. But they're just my little fella bags. So just doggy waist bags. There's a 60 in here, four rolls. They come in cute little designs not that that matters but if I gotta carry something full of something might as well make it look cute <laughs> so and here's the other package that I bought it's the same thing the 60 and then it's this pretty greenish blue teal whatever with the little doggy prints and this says woof woof so I uh, I have these with me in my um, Dollar Tree um, doggy bag holder that fits onto her leash I did find one I like a bit better on Timu. I haven't ordered. I haven't got it yet, but um, it hooks the bag part hooks onto the leash in a different area. The one from Dollar Tree, I have to put it on the handle where I hold it, and sometimes it gets in my way if I have to tighten her up a bit if I'm walking near somebody or something. Um, and then there's no place for me to do her doggy bag. So I've got the leash in this hand and I'm carrying a little, little doggy bag until I can get to the disposal place. Uh, this one has a little hook on the bottom of it where you can actually hook the bags on there, the used bags on there until you get someplace to deposit them. So I'll still have my other hand free. So uh, check my uh, future hauls to find that one. 
Uh, I was out of mascara. Um, I just wanted something inexpensive. This is Wet n Wild, Full Healthy Lashes, Soy Protein Enriched with pan Panthenol, um, Enhance and Define in Very Black. So that's just, uh, you know, something to add to my makeup because I needed more mascara. My other one got a little funky. I know you're only supposed to keep them so long before you should throw them away. So these things, these things are so pretty. Um, colors, well, no, you should still not get the true color. It's like a seafoam green. If, if it was that blue color I'm seeing on my camera, I would love that even better. But it's more like you're seeing on the inside, like a seafoam green plastic, but a nice size. Oh, my head. Nice size in here. In my freezer, I have a side by side. Uh, refrigerator freezer and the freezer's got I think three or four shelves but everything I put in there like bags of vegetables and bags of fruits and my meats and everything the, because the shelves are you know, a big distance between them and I pile all that stuff in and you open the freezer and I get a cascade of stuff falling out so I thought let me put some better storage in my freezer I just wanted something easy to put in there something I could see through of what's in the compartment I could also label it here if I so desire and then it's got this nice little handle where I can pull it in and off of the shelf. And so I got three, three of these for those shelves. I couldn't remember if I had a fourth shelf or not. I think there's only three. But anyway, <laughs> that is what this is for. So it's a really nice size one for a dollar and a quarter. This was still in the regular section, dollar and a quarter. Um, so everything that I purchased totaled like $17 and something change uh, with tax included. But yeah, I thought these would work and make my life a little easier than having to pick up the freezer remains when they tumble out of my freezer. So I'll let you know how these goes, how these go. I have a little video snippet from inside the snow. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk today. From inside the store um, of all of the different sizes and types of things in this um, selection. There, there were um, three different colors, I believe, on like an orangey, the seafoam green, and then a gray. Um, they had a little garbage can with a little spinny uh, lid on it. They had another little tiny garbage can. They had all kinds of these in different shapes and sizes. It was a nice selection if you wanted to coordinate everything and uh, purchase those. So that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed this. <clears throat> Excuse me, Miss Bella. Um, there she is. She had said hello. <laughs> she heard her name. Um, so anyway, <laughs> she didn't get to go with the Dollar Tree, but I did. So I um, have another Timu haul. There's a bag right there that I'm going to do next. So you'll see me in the same getup and her in the same spot, but you won't be able to see that until the next time I post. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please take a second and hit the like button. Also, if you want to continue seeing my videos, please hit the subscribe button. You can also hit the bell notification so you're notified every time that I go and post a video. Um, and um, if you wouldn't mind sharing it so I can build up my followers a little, that would be I would be extremely grateful for that. So I am hoping you're enjoying this. Um, I hope you um, are getting ready for me to start doing some videos shortly, getting ready for my cruise at the end of September. So I'll be doing some little helpful, hopefully helpful um, tip videos for you. Um, when we get even closer, I'll show you, you know, the things that I like to pack or how I get organized um, in doing this. And um, then once I'm on my vacation, I will be taking you with me via my videos. So I hope you join me on my trip and we will have some fun together. And um, yeah, and comment. Please leave me a comment. Is there anything in this purchase, this haul, that you will be running to Dollar Tree for? Um, I don't think I got anything spectacular. I didn't find anything really um, new or exciting at this trip, but this is not my favorite um, Dollar Tree. It's just my closest Dollar Tree. And, you know, I was just running out to do an errand that I couldn't do so. 
I did this. <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, have a fantastic day. I love you guys so much for following me. You don't know um, that, you yeah, know, how much that it means to me. Every time I look at my YouTube channel and I see like one more subscriber, I'm so excited. <laughs> so, um, it's just fun. I enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope I'm making your life a little more enjoyable. And um, that's about it for me today. So, you know, please go and uh, try and organize something in your life too. Get yourself a little more organized. It just decreases the stress level and we all need that. Okay, have a great day. Thank you again so much for watching and see you on the next one. Bye guys.